How's it going everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming. This is going to be a very quick special request RPG Maker Envy tutorial for Kurashine or Kurashine, however you say your name, sorry if I butcher it. But basically the question that was asked is I'm trying to make a weapon that drains your HP at the beginning of every turn and then deals additional damage equal to the HP that was drained. How would I go about doing that? So you're going to have to add a state, a skill, and the weapon to make that work. So uh Let's start off with a state. So find a free state uh, and then add whatever name you want. Set the priority something low between 1 to 10. Doesn't need any of uh, removal conditions or anything. Uh, you can give it an icon if you wish. Matter of fact, you might not even want to give it an icon. Set the priority between 1 and 10. We're going to be using Yanfly's Buffs Stays Core for this, uh, as well as a few other plugins. I'll put the links for those plugins in the description below. So we're going to be typing Custom Regenerate Effect inside the note tag for this state. We're going to type variable x, or I'm sorry, var x equals, and we're going to be using game variables to be able to change the value of this inside the game. So you're going to be able to adjust the value of this later on based on events and stuff. So it's not just like you set it and then it's stuck that way forever. You can change it throughout the game. So it's a little better way to do this. So we'll do dollar sign game capital V on variables dot value. And what we're going to be doing is finding a free variable. So we'll go to our common events and just go to control variables. And we're going to look for a free slot wherever. Give it whatever name you want and take a note of the number. So I just called this variable uh, your name. And I'm using 121 you can see here. Now we don't actually need a common event, we're just looking for a free variable. We found it. We're using one. I'm using 121, you can use whatever you want. Let's go back to that state. So we're going to put the number of that state inside, uh, or the number of that variable, sorry, inside of this note tag for your state. Uh, then we do an inline to go to the next thing. We're going to type user.gain capital H on HP. And then inside parentheses here, we're going to do negative X. So every turn, that it regenerates, it's going to be losing uh, however much uh, we set the variable to be. And that's it for the state, slash custom regenerate effect, that's it. Um, Alright, so now we're going to go to the skill. So we're going to be using Ganfly's uh, weapon replace, uh, weapon unleash plugin, and we're going to basically be doing an attack replace. So the weapon we make is going to be using a skill for its attack. So you can call this whatever you want, uh, and give it a little description. Um, we're basically draining HP from the user, dealing extra damage to the target. You don't want to give this any MP or TP cost because we're replacing our basic attack with that weapon to this skill. So it doesn't matter what skill type, you just give it none. Scope one enemy, occasion battle screen, but no cost. Uh, physical attack, whatever animation message you want. We're going to be using Yanfly's damage core for this. So inside the note tag of this skill, you're going to do damage formula. We're going to do var x equals that same, that basically the same thing as we did in the state. Dollar sign game capital V on variable dot value. Same variable number end line. This time we're going to type value equals. We're going to put in our normal attack, uh, uh, our attack formula. It'll be, it might be different for you, but the standard attack formula is A dot ATK, ATK times 4. But change that to whatever you want. This first part is your regular attack formula that your normal attack would do. Then we're going to do plus, and then we're, we're going to add, if you want it to be the same amount as the amount that's drained, you do X. If you want to do double damage from the amount that's drained, you would do times 2 times four, so you can even manipulate this number. I think it seems to be fair if you're draining 100 every turn, then you'll do 300 extra damage or even 200 extra damage uh, to, to compensate for that because you're going to be losing life every turn no matter what if you're attacking or not. So uh, you get a big bonus for hitting with this weapon, but you're also losing HP every turn. So that's it. We're going to close the damage formula. So we've got our state. We've got our skill. Let's build our weapon. Jumping over to weapons. We're going to create the blade. Um, Put the description on this. Uh, you want to give this one an icon because it'll show up in the uh, in the inventory. Uh, give it whatever weapon type you want. You said sword. We went with sword. Whatever animation you want. Whatever parameters you want. Don't mess with the traits, but you have to add some note tags. So we have to use Yanfly's auto passive states plugin. So we're doing that. We're adding that passive state to the weapon, the same number that we created. So we'll go back to our states and we see that the state that we added with the customer generator effect a regenerate effect is 101. So we go back to the weapons and we're going to add passive state 101. Underneath that, we're going to be utilizing a note tag inside the weapon unleash plugin from Yanfly. So we're going to do re uh, replace attack and we're going to put in the number of the skill that we created. We see I'm using 143 for that skill. 
on the weapon. So that's what we did there. If you're using Yanfly's counter core, this is optional. You can have your character counter attack with the same weapon uh, skill. So you would put counter skills and you would just put 143. So if you have a uh, like monk abilities or something you want to counter attack, it'll also counter attack with that same weapon uh, damage. Uh, then if you're using uh, some other of Yanfly's plugins to change the way the weapon looks, you can do weapon image and beam sword red if you have that if you're using that plugin if not you don't really need that but that's pretty much it now there's one more thing you have to do before you utilize this because what we're doing in the skill is we're calling on a variable basically we're calling on this variable in the damage formula so whenever you call upon a variable in the damage formula you need to declare it beforehand so all of this is for other stuff but all we're looking for is this one line don't worry about all this other stuff just this one line what we're doing is we're setting a auto run trigger at the beginning of the game right when the character starts it doesn't, you only have to do it one time and then the rest of the game it doesn't even matter you don't have to mess with it so as soon as the character whatever map they start on it could be an invisible event the player will never even know this event happened just set the trigger to auto run and we're going to control variables right here so insert new variable control variables and here's where we set the initial value of the strength of the sword so right now I've got the value of this sword to 100 so all we're doing is selecting that variable 121 we created or we were using we're setting it with the operation the operand of a constant whatever number you want uh, I'm selecting 100 for here but we're going to be changing that to show the difference so right now it's set to 100 from default and I've already gone gone ahead and give the actor uh, the blade to start with to save some time so what we're going to do is we're going to jump into the game and we're going to see if we're losing life each turn and we're going to see if we're doing extra damage all right so we're in battle here and we can see that we lost 100 HP right there but we can't really tell if we're doing more damage unless we're really calculating all the numbers right so we're doing about 37 33 th three th around three to four thousand right 2800 there 3400 so let's do something uh, crazy let's change that variable instead of a hundred let's go back to this variable and ten times it let's go to a thousand so now we should be losing a thousand HP if this is working right each turn as well as doing probably a couple thousand more uh, damage so we'll get into combat again and we'll attack with our blade and we see we're doing six thousand now and we're losing a thousand HP each turn oh I, I accidentally targeted myself there because I'm also using Yanfly's target core but uh, you can see we were doing more damage, and that's basically it. Hopefully this tutorial helped you uh, figure out how to use a few of these plugins and how to make your life-draining extra damage sword. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any more special requests, please leave them below. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like more tutorials like this. Uh, you can always check out driftwoodgaming.com if you want to get some more tips and tricks and stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.